Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here, but we're not gonna be in my backyard for long because there's some things that I just shouldn't do in my backyard. In fact, I wanna be so far away from my backyard, we're going to a different state. So take a trip with me as we make the world's first sodium potassium liquid filled bullets. Let's get started. All right, so I've got two different bullets here. One is just a normal bullet and the other is called a hollow point. When a normal bullet hits something, it kind of just gets deformed and smashed up a bit in the front. But when a hollow point bullet hits something, it opens up like a flower. Hollow point bullets are made out of soft lead, so they expand faster and dissipate more of their energy. So we're gonna fill the bullets with different softer metals and see if they perform differently. Let's start with sodium metal. Sodium metal is soft, way softer than lead. It's so soft you can easily cut it with a knife. Next up is potassium, and it's even softer than sodium. I can tear it with my hands like it's made of silly putty. I can just tear it open like that, it's crazy. It's also a lot more reactive than sodium. As soon as I toss it in, it instantly reacts. Cool, now that you got some background information, I'll give you a quick rundown how I made these bullets. I decided to modify store-bought ammunition, so I just removed the bullets, saved the powder, and then melted the lead from the copper jacketing. Then I melted down the sodium and later the potassium on an oil bath. Once the metal was molten, I sucked it up with a pipette and I carefully injected it into the empty copper jackets. And once I filled all the copper jacketing with the different metals, I decided to weigh them out to make sure that they were all consistently filled so I'll get good results. All right, now it's time to start our experiments, and the first bullet we'll be testing is a sodium bullet. Okay, so this is the first shot in the fish tank. I hope it doesn't go through the fish tank because that's the only fish tank that I made. Three, two, one. Holy Here's the, this is the copper jacketing left over from the bullet. Oh, nice. So it definitely, it expanded like it should have because it's a hollow point bullet, but did it create a bigger cavity than it normally would have because it was filled with sodium metal? Let's check the height speed and find out. Move Dude, on. I think, ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the bullet. It didn't even make it six inches in. That soft sodium metal inside the hollow point opened up as soon as it hit the water. It didn't even make it six inches in. Don't worry, we're gonna try a lead bullet too, but first, let's move on to potassium. There's a piece right there stuck to the glass. So if I knock it into water, it should do little sodium bands. Nice. Time for bullet number two. This is filled with potassium. It's a little bit more reactive than sodium, so we should see a better reaction with this. Three, two. I don't wanna do it. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, yeah! Oh, f Oh, God! Oh, I swear I came up this way. This was even crazier than the sodium. I mean, look at that copper jacket. It just completely exploded, and now we've got a cool jellyfish coming into the fish tank, and the whole thing's jumping around. There's a, a tidal wave there. Could have surfed on that. Yeah, yeah this is at 7,000 frames a second. Yeah. It's crazy how much it moves each frame, though. Still. There's nothing in the barrel. It didn't get jammed up there's no bullet fragments in there and yes the gun didn't couldn't eject the round because the round was too light this is the sodium yeah this is what's left of the potassium Soda. i just thought we should have filled this with ph indicator like phenolphthalein so it would turn pink when we shot it well i've got more important things to worry about my fish tank is falling apart uh, but some last minute okay. repairs may save it for yeah. one more shot yeah. and then we have this which is liquid metal, sodium potassium alloy. It's probably the closest thing we can do to getting to shooting real mercury out of a gun. Yep, mixing together sodium and potassium makes a liquid metal at room temperature. So all I did was put it in a bowl and cap it off with hot melt glue. Three, two, one. <laughs> right in the eye. Oh God, you broke the whole thing. <laughs> I'm soaking. The fish tank is completely destroyed. I don't know what happened. I I don't know if I missed or it was the pressure from the blast. Let's see what the heck happened. Here's, there's the bullet, you can see it. Boom, you can see the fireball. These are just amazing results. I mean, this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. 
and I am very happy because I have 7 more of these bullets and some other cool tests coming up. But now let's try shooting a lead bullet. Oh yeah, look at it. I thought I felt something in my face. I scared the dog away too. I still needed to shoot a lead bullet at this, but it was leaking really bad on account of it missing the entire front half. Well, a hundred feet of really expensive tape later and I might have saved the day. This shot was awesome. Look at how that bullet comes in and still spinning and it just expanded instantly as soon as it hit the water. It might not have thrown as much water around or as big as a gas bubble, but the way that that gas cavity collapsed back in on itself, that looked pretty devastating. All right, here's all the clips one more time side by side. And I wanna hear what you think. Do you think that these bullets would be more effective than a traditional lead bullet? Let me know what you think down in the comments. And like I said before, I have seven more each of these bullets, and I've got some crazy stuff planned, and you'll just have to wait until next week to see what it is. And again, thanks to Nathan at aimedresearch.com for letting me use this high-speed camera. Without him, it just wouldn't be possible to do this video. And of course, check back next week for the sodium and potassium bullets versus a watermelon, and see you guys then. Bye. For today's extra content, we have an extremely dangerous propane can. We must deal with it. Wow, that was bigger than I thought.